I think that's a struggle that a lot of people have who are buying home theaters today. Only few packages that I believe has got good power and has got that kind of hi-fi audio output coming from it. If it's very, very old, like beyond six, seven years, then yeah, you can definitely look to upgrade to a better subwoofer. So it's Thursday today and it is my personal favorite day. Do you know why? Well, Thursday is the day wherein I get to answer some of the top three questions that come across to us every fortnight, that is every 15 days. And my team picks out the top three questions so that I can be here and answer these three questions for you so that we can help each one of you make better, well-informed and wise decision when it comes to buying anything to everything in the home cinema space, especially in the Indian markets. So over to Atharva, who is going to be the voice of episode number 16 of Get Help with Tanmay Mehta. So in question number one, Raghavendra from Bangalore asks, can you suggest me the best home theater in a box system around 50K? I have LG C2 OLED TV and I'm looking for a best HDIB system for a good audio experience. Okay, so first of all, Raghavendra, a fantastic TV, LG OLED C2, I mean, the OLED series or the LG brand overall has been my personal choice when it comes to a television uh, buying or a product. And coming to your question about a home theater in a box package under 50,000 or around 50,000. Well, here's the true fact. YHT1840 is one of the only few packages that I believe has got good power and has got that kind of hi-fi audio output coming from it. So that is priced around 40,000. So that can be one of the options. But in case, if you can extend your budget by another 10, 15 or 20,000, then YHT3072 is a fantastic speaker package which comes with an active subwoofer which will help you get better bass. Now, I don't know about the room dimensions, so I'm assuming that these HTIBs will be able to cater to your requirements. Do check your room viewing distances in terms of the TV to your sitting distance as well as the room size because as you mentioned, if it's in your living room, then you would definitely need something which is more powerful so that it can cover the large area of your living room. And in case these two systems work for you, go and audition them. You can probably find it with any of the large format retail stores, if not with any of the dealers in your city. And YHT1840 would be the first package which will be under 50,000. The second option will be YHT3072, that is Yama Home Theater 3072 as the 5.1 speaker package around 50,000 rupees. Over to next question. So in question number two, Manish from Delhi asks, what is the best way to watch OTT content? Built-in apps on smart TV and sound from home theater or a dedicated media player connected to a home theater? Okay, so uh, thank you Manish for asking that question. I think that's a struggle that a lot of people have who are buying home theaters today that, that they don't know whether they should use the TV's built-in smart apps to watch the OTT content or they should buy a separate media player. Now this question's answer would depend upon what kind of home theater system you have. Because if you're having an Atmos home theater system, but if you're having a TV which does not have EARC, that is Enhanced ARC HDMI output port to it, then in that case, you will definitely need to buy a media player so that you can get an Atmos output from that media player, which is connected to your AV receiver and the AV receiver will give you the required Dolby Atmos output and only the video can then go to the TV. But in case your TV supports Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos, and it has got the EARC port, then in that case, you can stick to the TV smart apps to get the output from the home theater AV receiver, but not using the optical cable, you have to still use the HDMI 2.1 version cable so that you get higher bandwidth and the EARC port needs to be used for that. And in case, if your TV has got Dolby Atmos, Dolby Vision, but it does not have an ERC output, then what is going to happen is that your Atmos format is going to get, you know, a lossy or a compressed format, and it is going to go to the AV receiver, in which case you will lose out on the detailing, but yeah, you can still survive with it. So based upon that, you can take a call whether you should buy a separate media player or whether you should use your TV's built-in smart app to do that. Also, if you need to know some of the best media players of 2023, 
then do check the link above because we have done a separate dedicated video about top five media plays that one should buy under 20,000 rupees in this particular year. Over to next question. So in question number three, Ravi Teja from Bangalore asks, my Taga Harmony 2 and 2 SE 12 inch subwoofer is crackling for deep bass. So is repairing the crack subwoofer worth it? Uh, so Ravi, first of all, uh, we have to understand the age of the subwoofer. If it's very, very old, like beyond six, seven years, then yeah, you can definitely look to upgrade to a better subwoofer. But in case your purchase is very, very recent and yet you are facing these issues, then in that case, repairing can be worth it because repairing cost is going to be significantly less than buying a new subwoofer. For instance, if you want to buy a new subwoofer equivalent to a 212 SE or even the same 212 SE, it should cost you somewhere around 25, 30,000 to begin with in today's times. But in case, if you are repairing the old subwoofer, it should not cost you more than 5,000 because the crackling bass or the cracking bass sound it has got more to do with the cone of the speaker and not the circuit cost. So the coiling of that cone needs to be just redone and that cost is very, very negligible compared to the cost of new subwoofer. So that is why I think based upon the age of the subwoofer, you can take that call. And if you need any further help with regards to getting the authentic or the right coil of the same brand, then what I would recommend is that you should get in touch with the Taga Harmony's authorized service center so that you get the same cone and not some third party local manufactured cone. So do that so that the output of the subwoofer doesn't change. I hope that this answer helps you Ravi. So those were some of the nicest questions in this episode. That is episode number 16 of Get Help with Tanmay Mehta. And in case you have already found some value and the answers that you have been also looking for, then make sure to hit the like button so that YouTube can share this video with more such relevant audience who is looking to build their home theater systems or are looking for solutions to their home theater problems. And in case you have got some more questions to ask, then please do use the link that is shared in the description as well as above so that my team can start scanning your questions and can bring them in the next episode. So before we end this video, let us announce the winner. The winner for me in this particular episode would be Mr. Manish from Delhi who came up with a very nice question of the OTT content whether to use a smart TV or to buy a separate media player. Because that's a struggle that a lot of people have been dealing with in these times. So congratulations Manish. My team is going to get in touch with you and is going to help you with some amazing gift vouchers. So I look forward to hearing from you as well. And make sure to hit that subscribe button so that we both can stay connected. And go to the link, ask your questions. And I, Tanmay Mehta, your home cinema consultant or home theater wale bhaiya, We'll see you again in the next episode. Thank you.